Hello everyone, my name is Corey DeFrancesco and I'm a bishop at the Ecumenical Order of Christ. Today I want to talk to you on a topic that most of you are probably already well versed in, and that would be the mass occurrence of UFO sightings being seen all across our globe since 2011. Now, you might be asking, why 2011? Well, I'll get to this in just a brief moment. But first, let's talk about why the Bible talks so in depth about these about these UFO entities. Well, they give them names. It get, well, the Bible gives them names such as chariots, cherubim, wheels of fire, flying scrolls, uh, ophanim, and that's only to name a few. So, I also double as a cameraman for the Armageddon Broadcast Network, and I want to share with you what we've seen in recent months. Over, over just, over just the last two months alone, we've seen. 50 plus different UFO sightings seen at our one location, well documented actually on, on YouTube, um, and that doesn't even include the 100 plus different UFO sightings that we've seen with our naked eye. But unfortunately, due to lack of professional video equipment and uh, um, funds, we, we were not able to capture all these on a nightly basis, so um, it is most unfortunate that we can't share the entirety of what we're seeing here at the Baja Sanctuary with you. But just last week, I want, to, I want to share with you an amazing event that happened just above our home. There was a unit of seven lights circling above our house, basically in a perfect eight symbol. Now, this might seem very strange and unusual, but they were actually all moving in perfect synchronicity. And to my surprise, I, after doing further research, I learned that this was not a lone event. It was not a lone wolf. Basically, this event happened on ser at several different locations throughout the world in the last couple months. And to me, this is absolutely phenomenal. I, I, my colleagues and myself took this to be to to mean it was it was an infinity symbol, perhaps an eternal life uh, symbolism very interesting now the point i'm trying to make here is that these ufo events are not are not loners they 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 are happening around our location consistently almost five to ten a night for a very specific reason we are servants of the divine now you might be asking what do you mean by that well quite simply the christ has returned his name is lord royale and we are literally his mouthpieces to the world. So, if you don't believe what I'm saying, you'll have to look at the, the compilation of evidence that we have for you at, at our websites, which I will name in just a few minutes. However, I want, I want to talk about one of the most significant pieces of evidence we have regarding Christ's return. And that would be the January 28th, 2011 UFO event. Now, on this date, we see, captured on seven different camera angles, an entity descend from the skies, the heavens, above the Temple Mount in Jerusalem, which happens to be one of the most significant, um, significant locations mentioned in the Abrahamic faiths. We see it hover there after descending for a while, and then it shoots back up into the air. Now, this was recorded uh, by, by uh, two or three probably even more new sources across the globe. One of them being Fox News, which has been popularized on YouTube for, for this event. Megyn Kelly covered it. Um, so I want to exp expound upon what what happened after the, the light shot back up into the air. So the Holy this was, in fact, the Holy Spirit of Christ. He, after shooting up, he went to fuse, his spirit went to fuse with the sun, with... Um, with Raymond Edward Lear, and after this, he became Lord Rael, the Return Christ. Now, if you don't believe what I'm saying, that's fine. I don't want you to take my word for this. I want you to investigate this thoroughly. I want you to look at the huge amounts of evidence that we have regarding this event. We we are not we are not false prophets. We are not preachers at your local church telling you telling you lies just to get all your money. Basically, we we can't. We can't look at this and, and say it's false. The, the naysayers, the trolls, the people who are trying to pull you away from the truth are making claims such as this event 
captured in Jerusalem on January 28th was simply a CGI hoax. It was, they make claims such as this was frame rate manipulation. Well, I'm here to tell you that's absolutely bogus. I'm also an editor for the Armageddon Broadcast Network, and I can tell you that there is no CGI manipulation occurring here. Basically, if you take a look at all seven different camera angles, different sources, of course, you will see that all of the events are, are perfect. There is no alterations in what's being shown on the screen. If this was CGI, there would be slight fluctuations in basically the, the uh, Holy Spirit above the Temple Mount. This is not the case. They are all precisely and accurately timed and synchronized. They are all the same. So one of the most significant pieces of evidence we have is the um, Jerusalem weather camera, which takes snapshots at a consistent basis every allotted amount of time. And this captured the event. So how could it be? A, how could this be a collaborative hoax if the Jerusalem weather camera is a uh, Jerusalem government weather camera is capturing the same footage? Absolutely ridiculous. Now, the other naysayers like to like to point out the fact that oh there was different frame rates included in the video so therefore it's false. Well, the eyewitnesses were not a professional video editing team. They obviously had different foot they had different cameras, they had different recording devices, each with different settings, each capturing this event at different frame rates. So of course when looking back at the footage there is going to be fluctuating frame rates depending on what source material you're looking at. So just to write off this entire event, to write off Christ's return in this one simple little factoid is just absolutely ridiculous. So I just, I just wanted to just point this out to you and I want you to investigate for yourselves. I want you guys to look at the compilation of evidence that we have for you. I want you to not simply rely on the words of one man alone, but do the research for yourselves. And I want you to do that at the following links. We have two websites here that are I highly recommend you check out, one of them being ra-el.org and uh, our main ABN website, which would be the Armageddon Broadcast Network. You can find it at armageddonbroadcastnetwork.tv, and the links will be in the description below. So... Thank you very much, and God bless.